the octonauts, and the growing goldfish. It was a sunny morning under the golden ocean when Shellington Sea Otter was digging for fossils, Professor Inkling was listening to music, Captain Barnacle's bear was building a model, Tweak Bunny was playing her banjo, Quasi Kitten was swabbing the decks, Peso Penguin was examining a patient, Tunip the Vegemol was eating breakfast, and Dashy Dog was calling the octopod. Each octonaut made their way swiftly to the octopod's HQ where Dashy greeted them from a monitor. I was taking photos in a nearby park when I met Donkey, she said. He is a goldfish who's grown so much he doesn't fit in his pond anymore. We need to move him quickly. This sounds like a chance to get out my new invention, Tweak suggested. The Gup G. I built it to travel in water and on land, just like a giant salamander. The ship had sturdy legs for walking on ground and a special tank for carrying large creatures with no time to spare, the gup was loaded with kelp cakes and equipment. The octonauts set off for the park. The, group, the crew journeyed up onto the shore through, the, through a forest and over rolling hills. When they reached Donkey's Pond, the troubled goldfish shared his story with the crew. At first, I was the same size as all the other goldfish. But then I got bigger. And bigger. Now there's not enough room for me here. Or us. Captain Barnacles comforted their new friend. Everyone is different. Some of us grow a little. Some grow a lot, he said. We'll help you find a larger pond. One with space for you to swim. Just then, an old koi fish spoke up. I've heard tales of hidden ocean where giants swim. To find it, you must head east and follow the rocky river to where it meets with the clouds. The octonauts thanked the wise koi and set off on their quest. As they traveled, Donkey continued to grow, and when they finally reached the river, he was too big even for the ship. In the water, Peso came out to measure Donkey's astonishing size. Shellington studied his shimmering scales and noted that they were looking more and more like armored plates. Further down the river, the current suddenly turned into rapids and waves crashed wildly against the tall banks. Dunky and the octonauts were jostled left and right. We can't take any more of this, Captain Barnacle shouted as he struggled to steer. I'm losing control of the Gup G. Ahead, the, wa the river seemed to disappear into the sky. It was a waterfall. Yarg! We're gonna crash! Quasi cried as the gulp fell over uh, toward the edge of the toward the sharp rocks below. But at the last moment, strong jaws clamped onto the ship. Donkey twisted around with all his might, pushed the octonauts away from the rocks, and through the rising for the through the rushing water. The crew found themselves floating in the calm of a tunnel behind the waterfall. Donkey had saved them.
Further ahead, the tunnel opened into a vast underground ocean lit by dazzling crystals. The crew gasped in awe. Gig gigantic fish swam slowly before them and large plants covered the seabed. Was this the ocean of giants? Cautiously, the octonauts left their ship to explore these. These fish look f familiar, Shellington said excitedly. They remind me of the fossils I've been studying. While the crew were busy spotting creatures, Donkey had a surprise of his own. Giant fish that looked just like him. Primeval, thalassic species, primordial marine flori. Of course, Donkey isn't a goldfish. He's a living fossil, a kind no one has ever seen before. He could be related to this ancient fish. Professor Inkling pulled out his book to explain. Living fossils are plants and animals that haven't changed for millions of years, sometimes since the time of the dinosaurs. There are so many prehistoric creatures down here. Where are we now? Dashi studied her octomat. According to the locator, we're right where we began, she gasped. The ocean is under Donkey's pond in the park, just far, far, far below. Donkey's egg must have drifted through a crack of the rock and up to the pond above, Shellington suggested. Later, as new friends, big and small, swam up to greet them, Donkey waved his fins and tossed his tail happily. There's plenty of room for me here, he said. The octonauts stayed for a giant party. Everyone enjoyed humongous kelp cakes and Drake drank gigantic cups of kelp juice. When it was time to head back to the octopod, Captain Barnacles asked Donkey, Will you be all right here? There are a lot of really big fish around. Don't worry about me, Donkey answered cheerfully. I'm still growing. The end. Good night. Shoo, shoo, shoo.